Good morning students. Today we will continue with our previous topic that is light and shadow. And today we will learn about day and night formation. But before starting we have to understand some important terms related to this topic. So you already know that our earth shows two types of motions and they are rotation and revolution. Let's start with the rotation. So, the spinning movement of the earth on its axis is called rotation. The earth rotates from west to east and takes 24 hours to complete one rotation around its axis. During the spinning motion, each half is changing its position in every 12 hours. So, one day and night are of 24 hours. Now, we will see how rotation causes day and night. The earth rotates on its tilted axis which causes day and night. And due to the spherical shape of the earth, only half of it gets light from the sun at a time. The portion facing the sun experiences daytime while the other half away from the sun experiences the night time. Now we will study yes about the revolution of the earth. The movement of the earth around the sun in a fixed path or orbit is called Revolution. Our earth takes 365 days and approximately 6 hours to revolve around the sun and this revolution also causes change in season. Now we will see how shadows are formed in space. Okay? Shadows in space. Eclipses are the most spectacular shadows cast by the earth and moon by blocking the sunlight on each other. Eclipses occur due to the revolution of the earth and the moon. The position of the moon and the earth keeps on changing due to the revolving movements. Eclipses occur when the sun the earth and the moon are in straight line. Now, we will study about an interesting topic that is lunar eclipse. We can see lunar eclipse only on the night of a full moon day. During lunar eclipse, earth comes between the sun and the moon and the earth blocks the path of a sunlight and because of this, the shadow of the earth cast on the moon. Now, as you can see in this picture also, the innermost and the darkest part of the shadow where the light source is completely blocked by the earth is known as umbra. And penumbra is the outer region of the shadow cast by the earth. We can notice two types of lunar eclipse and they are total lunar eclipse and partial lunar eclipse. So when the moon is completely in the dark shadow of the earth it is called total lunar eclipse and when the moon is only partly hidden by the shadow of the earth it is known as partial lunar eclipse. Okay. Next, we will see how solar eclipse occur. We know that moon is much nearer to the earth than sun. So, when the moon revolves around the earth, it sometimes comes between the sun and earth. And the rays of the sun cannot reach the earth. In short, we can say that the shadow of the moon cast on the earth. In this way, solar eclipse occurs. We can notice two types of solar eclipse and they are total 
solar eclipse and partial solar eclipse. So when sun is completely hidden by the moon, it is called total solar eclipse. And when only a part of sun is hidden, it is called partial solar eclipse. You can also notice a beautiful diamond ring like structure appears in the sky just after the solar eclipse. Though this phenomenon look very pretty and beautiful in the sky, but always remember one thing that you should never see these phenomenon with your naked eyes because it can affect your eyes. You can use special spectral equipments to enjoy and see this phenomena. So here we complete our topic that was light and shadow and thank you for watching this video.